We're going to look in this presentation at the solubility of iodine in a various number of solvents. So the first solvent we've got is dichloromethane. Dichloromethane looks a lot like water, but it isn't. So be careful with that. This one is water. Between dichloromethane and water, they are not miscible. So quickly, you should be able to see a layer right about here in the video. Yeah, it's fairly obvious right there. So there's a layer there. Dichloromethane is more dense than water. And the last thing we're going to add is hexanes. So this is just like gasoline, components thereof, organic liquid. Now, or hexane, which is totally nonpolar, is also not miscible in water. So you have a layer here between the dichloromethane and the water, and a layer up here between the water and hexane. So we're going to take the tiny amount of iodine. And just let it sit here. So it takes a little bit to do. It actually, the crystals that they're coming off of here are slowly dissolving in the hexane, but they're actually sitting at the water hexane interface which is interesting because the iodine is more dense than uh, liquid water. But I'm just going to get those crystals to go through. And then I can go disrupt them down here. And then they all go through. And you can see what we've created is they pass through the water layer fairly quickly. They don't look like they've dissolved in the water layer, but they definitely dissolve up here in hexane, which is nonpolar, and dichloromethane, which while it is slightly polar, has a high polarizability, which is conducive to iodine um, interacting with it. <coughs> so, so what about this water layer? What I'm going to do is we're going to just pour it in here and see what happens with iodine in water. The last of it to pour out. And to ensure we've got this stuff mixed up really well, pour it back in. And the entire thing is pink from the dissolved iodine. Or is it? You can see down at the bottom that the water layer is reforming. What we have up here, hexane and dichloromethane are miscible. They will dissolve in each other. They will mix together without a problem. So, but water will not. And that's what's happening down below. While I have shaken them up, and you can see that there's a lot of bubbles right here, and that bubble layer is moving. That bubble layer is called an emulsion layer in science. So it's slowly breaking apart. The water is sinking to the bottom, and the hexane and dichloromethane is at the top. And you can see all of the iodine is sitting in the top layer. You can also look at the bottle that I was working with here, and with regard to this bottle, it's also pink because even just the amount of time I put the solution in here, shake it up for a little bit, some of the iodine is now dissolving in the nonpolar polyethylene bottle that I bought, which is turning pinker and pinker and pinker as I do more of these demonstrations. So there we go. Thank you.